things a sport commentator would never say. And at the end of that match, it's nil-nil. But it doesn't matter, because both teams are just such lovely people. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the Monaco Grand Prix. And, yes, they do all sound a lot like bees. <laughs> <laughs> The next topic is unlikely lines from a thriller. Go, leave me behind. I love you, that's why I'm saying this. Go ahead without me. You only get one chance to play the crystal maze. <laughs> <laughs> right, we was going down the match, going down to see the match with some of the lads, and some blokes got killed, didn't he? Yeah, it was murder on the Leighton Orient Express. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely lines from a sci-fi film. You've eaten Han Solo. Oh, Chewie, that was a Wookiee mistake. <laughs> <laughs> this ship will self-destruct in T minus five. OK, sure, but, like, how long actually is that? Because no-one's told me what T actually is. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next up again. Things you wouldn't hear on a political discussion show. Hello and welcome to Question Time. Is it real or is it just a fabricated construct? Join us as we Question Time. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Peston on Sunday, the first lyric rejected by Craig David. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a news programme. England has won the World Cup! <laughs> So oh, let's find out what's happening in your area, which can't be all that important, otherwise it would have made the main show. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely lines from a children's book. Where's Thomas? said the passenger. Well, he's delayed, said the fat controller. What do you mean, said the passenger? Oh, I'm not going to explain it. That's real life. Get used to it, you little prick. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a property show. Welcome to the show. We'll be looking at houses that have been designed by someone's nan. Yes, it's grand designs. <laughs> now, this next property is about £50,000 over Philip and Susan's budget. Luckily, though, Philip's grandmother has just died. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely dating profiles. Hello, I'm looking for a bloke called Dave. He's been hanging out in Nice, apparently got his trotters up. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on the radio. We welcome you to Radio 3. That's right, just, just you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Lines you wouldn't read in a romantic novel. She looked on expectantly as he undid his zip and slowly removed his anorak. <laughs> Reader, I shagged him. <laughs> Do you come here often? Yes, I come here every week to get tested. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on daytime TV. And today, there will be no Jeremy Kyle, unfortunately, because we've run out of dreadful people. <laughs> Join us after the break when we'll be making some street food. And, in fact, Chef Anton is scraping something off the road right now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Piers. That was a very reasonable and well-thought-out opinion. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Things you never hear in a school assembly. Today is, of course, the big school outing, and so I'd like to invite all the gay and lesbian children to come to the front immediately. <laughs> Drinking, smoking, fighting. These are all three reasons for me to be very tired today. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at Christmas. Oh, I'm stuffed. Oh, how charming. A talking turkey. <laughs> <laughs> um, does anyone know when the DFS sale starts? <laughs> <laughs> Would you call him Santa or Father Christmas? Oh, it doesn't matter. He's dead on the driveway anyway. <laughs> 
Your grandma's fallen asleep with a packet of eat me dates on her lap, and I can never ever unsee that. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely lines from a sci fi film or TV show. I'm not sure what they are, sir. They're not humans. I think they are Kardashians. <laughs> In the galaxy has shrunk. Oh, no, I just got out of a box of celebrations. <laughs> OK, our next topic is commercials that never made it to air. Do you want to leave your children a lump sum after you die? <laughs> Me neither. So get on bet.com. <laughs> You keep falling over and you're not sure how to respond. Try TripAdvisor. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a history documentary. It's 1856, but it'll be 1903 before the southern train arrives. <laughs> Of course, we talk a lot about Richard the Lionheart, but we seldom talk about his brother, William the Leopard Scrotum. <laughs> Isambard Kingdom Brunel died as the most famous, stupidest named person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear in hospital. Oh my God, yay! £350 million! Pounds. Great news, thanks! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think it's a curvature of the upper spine, but it's just a hunch. <laughs> Good news, Mrs May, we managed to have your tear ducts repaired just in time for your big speech. <laughs> Unlikely lines from likely lines from a horror movie. Yeah, I've got a sixth sense. It's called style. Who wants to see dead people when you've got clothes like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the is, unlikely things to hear in a survival show. And this is the last episode of Survivor because we've eaten Bear Grylls. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand, man. It was the biggest barbecue ever. They had Bear Grylls. <laughs> Well, tonight, I'll be eating in the bush, which is a first for me. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a breakfast show. Later on, we'll be looking at what causes breakdowns. I mean, maybe it's getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning to do this job for five years, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and now, let's find out what the weather's doing in your area. Or you could just pull back the curtain, David. I mean, do I have to do everything for you? For goodness sake? <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is unlikely lines from a Star Wars movie. <laughs> ah, it is the War of the Clones, or as I like to call it, Love Island. <laughs> oh, do we have to fight with lightsabers? It's just that no one looks good under strip lighting. <laughs> That was Tom Allen with Jedi for the straight guy. <laughs> <laughs> and the end of that round, the point's to Tom, Hugh and Rosie.